Hey guys, Steph here, founder of Nourish, and today's video is the crown chakra and inversion. So this series is brought to you by our seven day sugar and chakra detox. Now, what does inversions or standing on our heads have to do with sugar cravings? Sugar cravings can come from three main reasons. Number one, deficiencies. Number two, habits, good or bad habits. Number three, hormonal, so cortisol. Um, what we're doing with these yoga poses each and every day, specifically tapping into the rest and digest state, is um, we're jumping into that parasympathetic state or getting out of the cortisol-driven mode. So what we're doing today, um, we've worked our way up. We're on day seven of the seven-day sugar and chakra detox. By detoxing our chakras, all we're doing is opening them up. And all that this means is opening up our energy systems. And today's chakra is the crown chakra. We're all the way up to the top. And today's uh, yoga poses are inversions. So I'm gonna show you some easy inversions that you can do um, no matter what level you're at. I'm also gonna show you some handstand prep and headstand proper alignment if you are a little bit um, advanced or you're interested in that. And what this do is on a kind of a physiologically physi physiological level is we're just um, reversing blood flow. So your heart's here, your head's here all day long it has to pump up to your head so inversions what that does is it gives your heart a break and it actually just allows gravity to bring blood flow there so simple inversion if you are at work um, and you're you work in an office and you don't want to get in your yoga clothes is really just dangling down heart above head that's all so that's an inversion downward dog is also an inversion your heart is above your head. So those are some simple ones. And then um, at the end of this video, I'm also going to do a five minute restorative inversion legs up the wall. So grab some wall space. If you um, don't have a wall, you can use a couch, just putting your legs up on the couch or a chair. And we're going to be doing that after the this video just to for those of you who are playing along and doing five minutes of restorative before bed. That's a really nice pose to get you calm down and ready for bed. So before we get into that, um, what I'm gonna do is show you some handstand prep for those of you who are looking to work on your handstand game. Um, headstand prep, proper alignment. And then you have this in your email for those of you who are doing the chakra detox, but our affirmations for today are um, to do with our seventh chakra. So they are, I am open to universal intelligence. Everything is connected. I feel whole and complete. I feel peaceful and joyful. So what affirmations are, are they're just, they're goodness, they're positive things. And, um, the, sorry, video stopping. Affirmations, what that does is it gets us into the proper headspace. So a couple of ways I like to use affirmations are actually journaling. So when I write in my journal, I take the top margin of my journal and I write positive quotes, positive affirmations, uh, specifically on what I'm working on at that time. So whether it's financial abundance or for this week, it was balancing the chakras and today specifically the crown chakra. Um, some other ways some people like to use affirmations are just um, instead of focusing on the breath, they're focusing on affirmation. So I inhale love, I exhale hate or whatever you want to say um, for mantras. And today's color is um, violet. I don't actually know if this is violet. Let me know in the comments if this is violet or not. I think violet's like purplish, pink-ish. Um, all right, let's get into it. So I will show you some handstand preps to begin with. Again, if you are beginner yoga, yogi, don't do this. Um, we're gonna be doing legs up the wall for our pose for today with our five minute timer. So for those of you who wanna get into handstand, it is a lot of shoulder work. So shoulder and core is the strength um, that you need for handstands. And using a wall is a really great way to prep. So what you do is you sit with your back against the wall and measure out your feet. Put your hands where your feet are. And then you're gonna walk your feet up the wall and get into this alignment that um, you can kind of test out your shoulder, how it feels, you wanna be stacked upon have your all of your joints and your bones stacked so it's a really great practice area and arena to see how that feels in your body so hands where feet were and you're simply walking your feet up the wall 
And if you feel so inclined, you can walk your hands back so that you end up in full handstand. So this would be phase one. Phase two is you're actually pushing your butt towards the sky. So your hands and everything, um, your shoulders are stacking over your hands. Phase two, staying here and feeling how that feels. You can stay there. You can lift a leg. This is handstand prep. Lift a leg. And if you feel, you can actually walk your hands back coming into full handstand. So that's a lot on the wrists. Make sure to be pushing down through the fingertips and really pulling out of the hips. You don't want to be crunching, or sorry, out of the wrists. You don't want to be crunching in the wrists. So you can do that to prep for handstand. And then headstand is a pose that people often ruin their necks in. You actually don't want any pressure in your neck. It's, neck. it's all in um, your arms. So let me just catch my breath and I'll show you. This is one version of headstand that I love because you don't put any pressure in your neck. There's some other ones where you actually are standing on your head. Um, I prefer this one just so that you protect your neck and you're using the strength in your arms. <sighs> okay, so for this, you are taking your hands and um, outlining your head, but your head's going to, once you get up into a headstand, your head actually can move around. So that's the key is putting all the weight in your arms, not in your head. And again, prep would be dolphin pose like we did yesterday, um, strengthening through the shoulders. And prep pose for this, just to get comfortable, is to set yourself up um, in dolphin. And that's, you're staying here to just feel how that feels. And then if you want to go up, um, you can do this against the wall or have a friend behind you. And again, raising one leg, raising two legs, or floating both up. So here, I can actually move my head around. All the weight is going down through my forearms. So that is the beauty of this pose, as opposed to some of the other headstands. You always know, want to stay down for a couple seconds after you do an inversion. for all you keeners that wanted to try and um, do some prep poses for those fancy inversions. The one that we're going to do, I'm going to put some music on, legs up the wall. This is perfect before bed or if you want to tap into that rest and digest state. Some of our other poses for today to balance the crown chakra are Shavasana. Shavasana is basically good for everything. It's uh, where you lay straight on your back. It's um, tuning into the body, becoming aware. Uh, and lotus pose. Every time you see the color violet today, it's an opportunity to tune in, to become aware of the breath. And let's do this. So we'll do five minutes. You don't have to look at your timer because uh, I'll have it here. You just listen for the chimes. And we'll get some music going. So find yourself a seat close to the wall and if you don't have a wall you could do up on a chair or on your couch and we'll do five minutes together if you uh, grab like a blanket or a sweater because you often get cold when you step into this restful state and we'll, we're going to be putting our hips straight against the wall, legs up the wall for five minutes. Don't worry about the timer, it will go off when we're done. Focus on the breath and scanning up and down the body. I won't be speaking just because um, you wouldn't be able to hear me. So listen to the music, focus on your breath. Let's do this.
you're all done. Good job. Good job, guys. So that was five minutes of R&R &R Rest and Digest to step into the parasympathetic state. Um, it's part of our seven-day chakra and sugar detox. The third reason why we might have cravings is because of cortisol or hormonal reasons. Um, that's why we're doing this, and it works. So if you are exercising and eating healthy, but you still have stubborn belly fat, your answer might be that there's too much cortisol. So instead of getting pissed off about being stressed or being busy, Let's just do something good, which is add in 60 seconds of breath work, five minutes of legs up the wall, um, a reflexology session, a massage session, whatever you want to feel good, to calm the nervous system, because that really is the secret to getting nourished, to um, cutting cravings if, in fact, you are eating healthy and you're exercising, but you still have that stubborn belly fat. Um, so for those of you who are um, on day seven, congratulations. It's been my pleasure guiding you through this process and for your maintenance plan feel free to connect with me in our support group and we'll set you up with a maintenance plan um, what that looks like and means is different for everyone but um, what we do is we add in things that you're going to do every day um, to not overwhelm you so for example it might be making sure you check you have a checklist you're having a shake every day you're having your supplements you're having a healthy afternoon snack and even just those three activities those are really going to put you in that positive mindset that positive spin because just as we can spin out of control we can spin into awesomeness so that's the get nourished way is we add small little things in each and every day for seven days or 21 days um, 21 days to make a habit 90 days to create a completely new lifestyle part of our 2190 system um, so the seven day sugar and chakra detox was really uh, an amazing experience um, to just open you up open up the doors to see if um, our programming is right for you so join us for next round we do sunday setups and then do monday to friday the nourish reset the food portion saturday sunday the following week we're wrapping things up creating your maintenance plan and um, continuing on with the yoga um that's all that's it let me know in the comments if you got this done just do a little emoji and if you in fact see benefit from stepping into the rest of the digest if you know what i'm talking about when i say get out of the cortisol when i say stress kills when i say you still have that stubborn belly fat but you're eating healthy and exercising if you are experiencing that and you know the power and the benefit let us know because some people need to see it from other people need to hear other people's experiences to really understand the power of it um, so let me know in the comments if you understand this whole concept of stress kills and the importance of stepping into the rest and digest system stepping into that calming um, parasympathetic state thanks for watching if you missed the six videos we did before this they're all under the video tab on my nourish facebook page as well as on the youtube channel so we went up the chakras we did all the chakras with different yoga poses specific to each chakra to open up our energy systems and we're just wrapping up today the crown chakra which is our highest one and we did inversions thanks for watching guys and i uh, will see you on the flip side